doing this back leg when you want to do the pads is we've got our bones here, so we come down to our patella joint, back to our hop. So this is like a, a lever joint. So whenever I do anything, I always support this lever joint. So I'm lucky I've got quite big hands. Those of you that haven't, you can then start using a bit of your body as well. Let the, the joint rest on your hand. Um, or you can just, you know, take hold of the whole joint. So I'm just letting him rest on there. I'm flipping this back. So this is, there's an Achilles tendon here, pretty much the same as what we've got. Um, so this, this area is quite, is quite flexible. So we can just tip that back. You can see he's a terrier. If he wasn't happy about this, I would definitely know about it. So my arm is just coming through here. He's just sitting on my arm and I'm supporting that joint. So that's, I will be doing this for a very elderly dog or a puppy. I would just be supporting the whole joint. What you don't want to see is this is his pelvis and there's no way that any of this assembly here should be coming above the pelvis. So we're not gonna be picking this leg up and rotating it up. We're literally just gonna be concertina it up and just supporting it and if he wants to um, you know he can lean right into me and then we're just going to clear out his pad and he's quite happy about that so this is his um, metatarsal pad because it's on the back leg so you have the big tarsal pad on the back leg and on the front leg it's called the carpal pad I always remember the difference between, I think of the back end is the last thing you see of a dog, and I think of tartar -ta, as in goodbye, because um, it's what you see going away. So therefore that is the um, the tartar -ta pad, which is the metatarsal pad. These are just called digital pads. So they've got four digital pads and then the big pad at the front. So just remember that this pad is called different at the back than what it is at the front. So on the back, it's the metatarsal on the front, it's the metacarpal, but these are still digitals. As you can see, Bertie doesn't like his front feet being touched. So, if you use your two nails here and just pull them down, can you see how that pad is really opening up? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those two nails and just keep that pulled forward. And I've got a 15 blade on here and I'm just gonna come in and out, in and out, out and in, out and in. And just get hold of that and just neaten up all around here. A lot of people use trimmers. I do, I do sometimes find though with trimmers that their, their blades are just quite fine and they can cause certain little bits of grazing. And that's, um, I, I prefer to use a blade. It's entirely up to you, but it's more the, more the handling that, that I wanted to show you rather than the actual equipment that you're using. So that's his back pad.